All right. I figured I'd use the little Firefly 2 camera today since I'm doing a little testing here. But I wanted to speak about the ups and downs of this system here with the back freewheel. If you don't know the difference between a freewheel and a cassette, there's lots of videos out there explaining it. But I don't care for it. I should have just got the other one that was adaptable for the cassette. And here's the new 48 tooth chain ring. The bolts that they sell with it is only good if you're going to use it as a single. But since I got two gears there, this goes into the other gear. So I only got a few threads catching it with my original bolts since this is a little bit thicker. But yeah, I'm going to have to get some new longer bolts. But I can probably go with a 50 tooth no problem here. There's plenty not plenty but there's enough but I got this all the way up so I could still change gears up and down here no problem but yeah having the motor on the front was tough going up those those little hills there with the wheel sliding around and losing traction with the front wheel so that was a little dangerous Plus, having it on the front wheel is dangerous to begin with, but then when you're in the dirt and stuff, the dirt's getting thrown all over your feet and then your shoes and everything when you lose traction in the dirt. So that's one of the upsides of having the back wheel. But I'm still happy with it, even though, you know, the gearing ain't as good as... I can pedal now at 20 miles an hour going uphill. So before with the cassette gears, obviously you got a higher range of gearing. So that kind of helped out. And it ain't bad looking either. The snail. That's the 48 tooth. And otherwise, yeah, it's great getting kind of cold now so we'll see how good these hydraulic calipers are going to be in the cold but yeah the uh, anodizing is kind of faded from the sun but all in all gotta have good brakes so they work great and that's it Ready to fly.